Standing outside a Gaul's house, everything you see around us is owned by his family and it's been so for generations. We're the first ever journalist to be here and I'm quite honored but I'm actually feeling quite scared. This town, I guess you could call it, the valley is named after his family. There's maybe five or six houses, each of which belongs to a different member of the family. No other houses as far as the eye can see in any direction. The closest town is about a 20 minute drive. I mean, the guy lives in complete isolation. No telephone, no nothing. I mean, I had, to, I had to walk. His brother was the only one who had plumbing in the house, and his brother lived about a mile up the road. So I, every time I needed to take a shit or anything, I had to walk, literally, in ankle high mud, because it had been raining for 72 days straight. The first few hours in Espadol were nerve-wracking to say the least. I couldn't stop thinking about what could happen over the next couple of days. But after a few bottles from Gaul's extensive wine collection, we all began to loosen up, laugh and have a good time. You know we're here because we're interested in the man uh, uh, behind all the spikes and, yeah. and, and uh, skull, yeah, and, 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 skull and, and, makeup. Of, and... Course, of, of course, uh, this might be one of my problems with when, uh, when I talk to journalists, I... I uh, talk to them as persons and not as journalists. To keep it personal, Gall asked if, instead of doing a traditional interview, we could just put the camera on a tripod and talk. What the fall of the false gods will, will do, basically. It's, <laughs> you will uh, be allowed to, to focus on the god within yourself, because that's the only true god. The god within everything. That's the only... Uh, only thing, thing that Allah, uh, for me, is uh, is worth calling God. It is the highest spirit of everything, and not this uh, control freak that's uh, telling you to you are not supposed to do this. You are not supposed to do this. You are uh, you are only supposed to bow down and kneel before what I say. Don't think it's more than anything else. It's God is it within man. God is within nature, and nature will always grow. That's the force of all life: is to grow. He like personally took us all aside and critiqued us on what he thinks we could change about our lives and shit. And it's like he met us like a day before, you know what I mean? And the, the thing that was blowing all of our minds, and we all got together the next day and had these little huddles when he wasn't around to talk about it, was like how right on he was. I think everyone was just speaking very freely, and of course the wine was flowing, and uh, I think we all saw a, a special side to Gaul. And I can't really put that in so many, I can't give him a quote that'll sum that up exactly. There are many sides to him. Like, I think there's many sides to every human being. And uh, of course, you know, we can all be a little evil sometimes. Char character that he is uh, scares people. How, how direct he is about what he believes in. One single word me and Gaul never will forget. And that's honest. The word honest. This guy that has a reputation of being a badass and a Satanist and all sorts of other things, the rednecks out there want to 
challenge him or fuck with him, just like it would be in the States growing up if you were one of those, these kind of guys. So I think he gets, um, people will mess with him a little bit. And when he, as he says, when someone crosses my borders or, you know, uh, steps on his foot, so to speak, that he teaches them a lesson. You know, we were walking down the road one day and he showed me this little, this little building. And he's like, that's my schoolhouse. He's like, yeah, I went to, um, between kindergarten and 18 years of age, I, uh, I went to school there. And it was just me and one other kid. I was like, for 18 years, you only went to school with one other person. And he was like, yeah, and that kid lived like 45 minutes away. So when school was done, he had to get on a car or a bus to go home. Like, I never got to, you know, hang out with him. And at 18, that kid killed himself. It's good for... Uh... Having a <laughs> having a excellent time. One of a kind. So. It's one of a kind.